Hello friends, today I am going to explain about what is thermal efficiency. Thermal efficiency is actually associated with the heat engine. Most of the automobiles that are running today are using internal combustion engines. Basically, the internal combustion engine is a heat engine. All engines that produce work by combustion of fuel or adding some heat. The heat is produced by combustion of air fuel mixture. So, all of these are heat engines. The, uh, the efficiencies associated with heat engines include thermal efficiency and mechanical efficiency and thermal efficiency is a most important thing that consider, uh, uh, that uh, is considered by the engineer during designing a heat engine. So they are always in, a, uh, always in a cost to improve the thermal efficiency of an engine. So what is thermal efficiency? We know, according to the statement of Kelvin Planck's, there are no engines that produces 100% thermal efficiency. So, if an engine is 100% thermal efficient, it produces work that is equal to the heat added. So, uh, there is no engines that produce 100% efficiency. So, some of the heat added must be rejected to the atmosphere, which is shown in this diagram. Uh, this is a source which is at a higher temperature the heat is uh, the heat is added to the heat engine for producing work and some of the heat are directly dissipated to the atmosphere without producing work so we can say thermal efficiency actually say that how much amount of work that is produced during adding a particular amount of heat so higher the thermal efficiency means is more work is produced by the engine by adding the same amount of heat so we can produce more fuel economy uh, 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 we can produce more power with less fuel with a higher thermal efficient engine and it is always economic for our environment and it is sustainable for long time so we can make a relationship between the heat added heat rejected and the work produced that will be shown in here the work produced will be is equal to the heat added minus heat rejected which is q add minus q rejected so we can replace this equation as this and we will get to a conclusion like this so we are familiar with these two cycles basically automobile engineers are familiar with these two cycle which is auto cycle and diesel cycle Auto cycle is mainly explained about the petrol engine and diesel cycle about the combustion ignition engine which is basically the diesel engine. So this is a theoretical thermal efficiency equation of auto cycle which is 1 minus 1 by Rs to gamma minus 1 and it is a ther theoretical thermal efficiency equation of diesel cycle which is 1 minus 1 by Rs to gamma minus 1 raised to Rc raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma into Rc minus 1. The gamma here represents the specific heat ratio which is Cp by Cv and R is the compression ratio and RC is the cutoff ratio. Okay friends, hope you all enjoy my video. Thank you.